And here we go, we've got a fight right now at Fight Club 2. Martin Stone against Iceman and here the goal. Oh, Stevie, they're starting already. They're not, Iceman not even waiting for Martin Stone to get in the ring. And look at this already clubbing each other. Oh, well, this is going to be very different to the match we just saw, but wow, look at this. Iceman all over Martin Stone. They might not even get in the ring. Two big British wrestlers right now. <laughs> Stone just went all the way through the chairs. Don't expect drop toe holds and, and, and fancy wrist locks in this. This is going to be a fight. This is just going to be a fight, and this is right up Iceman's alley. Believe me, I know this guy. He's one of the toughest Geordies I've ever met, and well, I've met some tough Geordies. Well, I know Martin Stone very well. I've managed the man. He's one of the toughest SOBs I've ever known in this business. And, and the more I see of Iceman, the more I think the same. These two guys... Well, we can have a suplex on the floor, it looks like. These two guys very, very similar. Iceman! Oh. Oh. You know what? This this really makes me think this is one of those situations where this town ain't big enough for the both of us. Both of these guys want to be the number one hard bastard in one PW. And there's only room for one, Stevie Aaron. Well, you might be right. And right now, I mean, Iceman, he hit the floor hard on that suplex, but he's back on his feet. Like I said, I mean, there's a, you know, there's tough... Geordies are tough anyway. They're born tough. My ex-girlfriend was a Geordie and she was tough. But I've never met anybody quite like Iceman. And I don't know if Martin Stone's up to the challenge. I mean, you know more about this guy than me. But look at that. Throwing the chair at Martin Stone. Stone managed... Oh, Stone managed to block the shot with his hands. But Iceman caught more of that and just receipts Martin Stone. Did you see that punch? Oh, this is... I don't know if they're ever going to make the ring. Oh! Into the chairs. Nice reversal from Martin Stone. Oh, our security have got their work cut out here because this, you know, we might as well, we might as well wait a few hours till half past 11 till the pumps kick out and stick these two guys in the middle of Barnsley. That'd fit right in. I think you're right. And now both men have yet to make it back to the ring. Iceman has been placed on a chair by Martin Stone. What's he got in mind here? Just close lines him off the chair. Incredible. Well, we apologise for not having the greatest... He's, uh, got, a, he's got a sign! Oh, the greatest camera shots here, but they're just in the middle of a huge throng of people, of the thousands that have packed into the Doncal, uh, the, the Barnsley Metrodome, I beg your pardon. And it looks like they might... Are they considering getting back to ringside? Yes, they are. I'll tell you what, Dean Eas. Iceman might think he's in Doncaster right now. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Some at of all. the shots he's taken from Martin Stone, who's impressing me more and more each and every time I see him. I tell you what, you go on about tough Georges. Martin Stone's an East Londoner. And I'll tell you something, East Londoners. Oh, oh. another guardrail! East London is are hard as nails. I'll tell you something, Barnsley guardrails are harder than the Doncaster ones. No, definitely, yes. Man buckled the Doncaster ones in half. Yes, these two men going at it about a month ago. I mean, that was an amazing match. Fight Club won in Doncaster. They battered seven bells out of each other. And then they went to promoter Stephen Gortley and said, please, sir, can I have some more? Yeah, can we do it all over again? And you see Another the chair goes flying. <laughs> Sorry, Stevie, I don't mean to interrupt you, but this is crazy. No, this is awesome. It's great, Dean. I mean, I'm enjoying this as a fan. And look, he's saying, is that all you've got? This is amazing. He's just taken a shot to the chair, a chair shot to the face. And he just comes straight back and is firing back with right hands on Iceman. These two guys are incredible. And again, Stone oh, with a chair, chair just throws it at Iceman. And I tell you what, Iceman, he was involved. Oh, chair to the back again. Oh, he, did you hear that chair shot? I certainly did. And Iceman, he was involved in a match last year in Germany where he, the match actually spilled out into a train station. And that might happen tonight. Who knows? But both men, incredibly, are back in the ring now. Well, I know he got that big scar on his arm in a fight in Germany. And now just forearms to the, the jaw and the... And the chest. Oh, wait a minute. From behind. Big oh. suplex on the Iceman. Iceman is 21 stone for Martin Stone to get him up for that. It incredible. might be over. He hooks the leg as well. And just a, just a two count there. We actually saw a wrestling move there. We did. And it might have put Iceman down, actually, because he looks dazed now. 
Martin Stone all over Iceman. Well, let's face it, the Iceman doesn't get taken off his feet too often. And for Martin Stone to, to do that, I mean, Martin Stone's giving away about 40 pounds. Nice reversal from Iceman. Stone goes into the corner and a big clothesline. Big clothesline, that rattled his oh, brain. He's, he's setting him up. I've seen this before many a times. And oh, just the knee to the face. And I think we're going to see it. The it cannonball. Was, that's right. Oh, this is brutal. And we're going to see it right in your living room, I think. Iceman! Oh, Stone's got to be out. Surely no one can take that. I've seen that move split Stevie Lynn's skull in half before. I've seen that move so many times, and that time you see Martin Stone's eyes, the rope back in, the rope, the rope back into his head, but unbelievably he's getting back to his feet. Stevie, he's getting up, he's getting up. Martin Stone is back on his feet, and the Iceman can hardly believe oh, it. Just chops the face. That sent him down again. Let's see how quickly Stone gets up. Referee Tony Barrett. We've got a cover, a nice cover from the Iceman, but just a two count. I was going to say, just look at the face of referee Tony Barrett. He can't quite believe what he's he's seeing, oh, the carnage in front of him. Tony Barrett might want to be somewhere else right now because Iceman arguing about the count there. And Martin oh, Stone oh, it's back on. up. It's on. This thing's just begun. Big forearm from Stone. One from Iceman. Again. Stone with a retaliation, Iceman fires back, and now Stone, it's all Stone, he's firing himself up. And Iceman can't believe what he is getting here. Oh, but he just oh. knocks down Stone, did you see that? Stone went down hard and his his head hit the canvas and he took off. He took I, off that armband and I think he's out. Seriously. He really clocked him that time. And he is. He's out. Wow. I mean... I mean, how ironic. Well, I, I guess I've never seen something like that. I guess that, well, the match is over, but... We are stunned. I mean, so is Iceman. You see, you know, they've thrown chairs at each other, they've thrown elbows and forearms, but... The thing is, Stevie, if you hit someone with the peach of a punch, if you hit them to the jaw just Definitely. Right, it doesn't matter what size you are, you're going down. I don't know if it was the punch to the jaw or Stone's head hitting the canvas because, you know, he bounced off, his head bounced back off the canvas. I mean, it was right in front of us really hard. But it, it might be the result of, of all those things you mentioned. It might have been, the, you know, the sign. It might have been... You know, taking the chair, chairs to the heads. Huh? He, he's still out. Look at this. As we we look here, he is. Martin Stone isn't moving. He's absolutely dead weight. He's not with us. And I mean, well, we've got medical personnel oh, backstage, and he's going to need them because he's being carried out by by security, and he's this is unable. Very sad to see, actually. Yeah. He's unable to make it under his own steam. That is incredible because Martin Stone, I've never, ever, ever seen Martin Stone handled by that or knocked out like that. And it's not the win Iceman wanted, at least. It doesn't seem to be. I mean, look at the face. And but what does that tell you about Iceman? And some words for Ulf Herman there, I believe. Couldn't hear too well what he was saying, but... Well, he's crossed paths with Ulf Herman. You've got to think, Stevie, Ulf Herman's just going to be watching that. The flaming German's got to be impressed with Iceman. He's not here tonight. Will he be impressed or will he be concerned? That's the question, but a most unusual ending to a most unusual match. I mean, that was just hard hitting. It was just a fight.